the New Hampshire doctor is at risk for losing her 55-year-old practice because she refuses to use a computer. 85-year-old Dr. Anna Konopka runs a small town practice and the New Hampshire Board of Medicine requires all physicians use the prescription drug monitoring program, which is only accessible online. This doctor has apparently refused to do so. 300 patients in the practice. Apparently her, her license is currently suspended because she she has put her foot down and said, I'm, I'm not gonna use a computer. Interesting, because there are two sides of the story. At first, I, I love her. I love her, but then on the other hand, she graduated from medical school in 1960. She'd been doing this 57 years. I checked her out. She trained at Albert Einstein. She's board certified in pediatrics. She looks like a physician who cares. Old school, yeah. 57 years of experience. She can sense if somebody's sick. I mean, that, yeah. that it's priceless. But yeah. the alternative theory there is that if that's the case, couldn't you just have someone in your office or couldn't you have someone Use Dr. this online Kanopka, tool. She, I volunteer. I will do this for you on the computer. Well, yes, she Look doesn't have anybody. And I will help you do this. Not that I'm any computer whiz kid, but I mean, she could have gone to the library. She, I'm sure she could have gotten a patient to help her sure. to yeah. just get. She doesn't have a nurse, an assistant, a secretary. It's, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's just her. Like, but that's kind of old school medicine. Very old she school, just... but I, I think now it's becoming sort of uh, a point that she doesn't want to give in. Like, this is not right forcing me to do something that I don't want to do. I respect and... it, and I will say, all credit to her. It's called a PDR. But, if, but there's a book. But They're Drew, these are, these are sometimes outdated by years, and so realistically, as the times change, as doctors, I think we have to I, change I with that a little bit. Change. I came through this era where we didn't have computer cell phones. It was reading journals. It was all books. It was not computer-driven. I understand where she's coming from. She can still do it the old-fashioned way is my point. Maybe she could get some sort of a waiver here. She claims, because of the community small, that she's able to know if anyone in her community is abusing drugs. Because the whole idea here is, yeah, but this is a drug monitoring system to make sure that people aren't abusing to get your and to get your licensing. It's part. It's part of the licensing process that we're now forced to do very often to maintain hospital privileges or to maintain the state license in this state or any other state that you're mandated to, to either do a course or where they follow your, your drug prescribing. I think it's important to do that, but the thing about it is she doesn't have to do it. She can delegate it. Like, she can't right. delegate it. So I think it may be her just saying, she's saying she's not good at computers, and she feels, she said that she um, finds the 2016 regulations that cover opiates confusing. So And, and I can respect that. Love old school medicine. But nowadays, things change much more rapidly. And a study could come out today that changes the way I practice medicine tomorrow. Maybe the way that I perform CPR changes. And I read the study today online on a computer so that tomorrow, if you're dying and I am in charge of you, I can implement what I read yesterday. The way that times have changed is if all you're doing is reading hard copies of journals, which we know are often months delayed, there is a lag time there to new information that I think if you're going to be a realist, you would acknowledge that the benefit, and I'm not talking about all the minutia of computers, which I, for the record, hate. I think that they've really impacted patient care. But the ability of using a computer to read sometimes the latest and greatest. Oh my gosh, this just came out. I'm no longer supposed to prescribe this antibiotic because antibiotic resistance has increased threefold in my community. So I'm no longer going to prescribe fluoroquinolones for this particular condition. Those things, they don't, I'm sorry, in the PDR and the, and the, well, the and books, I know, it's it all there. How, how to do it, how is somebody else doing it latest? It's all there, and I, I, think, I agree. I think ideally you have a practice where you have that someone with that experience, so someone from who graduated in 1960, and you have someone who has a computer, maybe, and they can look things up and they can kind of talk about things and balance it out. I think that's an ideal situation. But maybe she can at the same time, I got I got to give Doc up there 
props. 85 years of age, still practicing medicine, and she probably knows more about physical exam yep. and history taking than any other doctor. He probably does around. not order unnecessary tests as much. Hey, yeah. so but if you want to talk more about it, just you know, DM me. Uh, I'm on Twitter. I'm just kidding. I was being sarcastic. <laughs>